Hi, welcome to Seymour's World on Think Tech Hawaii. We have a wonderful show for you today, but I want to do a little bit of review. The show we had last week, which was on medical marijuana, drew one of the highest ratings we've ever had on Seymour's World. And I've been asked by many, many viewers, both by email and text and phone, to please do another show. So I've asked Dr. Kim in Pennsylvania to join us again, which I think we will do either in two weeks from now or just before Thanksgiving, uh, another show that'll talk about the actual marijuana usage, which means what happens when somebody does take mar medical marijuana? Who, who monitors all that process? So that's one thing we will do. The next thing I want to say is thank you for all your birthday wishes. Yes, I did turn one uh, of yesterday, and uh, I have another <laughs> birthday coming up again next year, which is a big one, but I'm happy to say that I feel healthy, and my kids are great, my wife loves me, so I can't ask for much more than that. On November the 11th, I am going to be narrating a Holocaust cantata with the Oahu Choral Society. And wow. this cantata is based on the prisoners of Auschwitz and the music and the songs that they wrote while they were in the camps. So if any of you are in Honolulu and can attend, it's going to be on Veterans Day at 7.30 p.m. at St. Andrew's Cathedral. Then on December the 4th, I don't have anything to show you, but I will the next <coughs> time, uh, we are going to have Kids Hurt to Gala. And that gala event is going to be at the Ko'olau Golf Club, where I'm very humbled and honored that they want to pay tribute to me for my volunteer work uh, for Kids Hurt Too, for the foster children, for kids with grief and trauma, and everything that we try to help these 500 kids a year to try to get a better life for themselves. So let's get on with the show. Uh, we're very lucky today. We have Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton with us. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We don't have Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. We have one of my best friends and one of uh, uh, one of our best musicians that make him smile, and that is Janai. <laughs> we have Patrick von Vigan. Did I say it right? Oh, it was, it was kind of European the way you did it. Well, yeah, so I wanted to say like Patrick von Vigan, you know, to give you a little bit of a European flair and a touch okay. to your name. But Patrick is also a magnificent musician. You're both with our Make Him Smile family and you help us entertain the, the children and the adults and wherever we do play. And I just want to say thank you to both of you for doing what you do. But it's I wanted to bring you here for another good reason. And that is that uh, you have just come back from London and you have been at the Abbey Road Studios, which all of us who are of age remember. The, the Abbey Road Studios is where the most famous musicians in the world have ever been. And you guys recorded a song. Or you recorded an album, if I'm not mistaken. So before we even get into Abbey Road, I want you to tell our audience who you are, how you got to Hawaii, uh, what you're doing right now, and give us a little bit of a background of your music career. Why don't you start, Janelle? Oh, okay, very good. Well, I have been uh, in Hawaii doing jazz and music for a really, really long time. I'm a jack of all trades when it comes to my musical career. People can't really pigeonhole me. It's just that I love to sing and I love to sing everything. So basically, I do everything. And I've been at it for 40 plus years. At this point, I'm just not ashamed to say it. I, I have nothing to hide. Age is just a number. I don't feel it like I've been in the Hawaii music industry for over 40 years, but that's the way it is. So you started when you were four years old. <laughs> Bada boom. <laughs> Eight. Uh, eight <laughs> no, years I'm, old, no, okay. I'm kidding, it was, it was a lot older than that. But, but that's cool. But Tim, um, I've, you know, I've been at it long enough to know what I'm doing, where I'm going, and I'm still going in many different directions, but it's okay, I'm just a multitasker. I'm a Gemini after all. I have to say, Janai, uh, when you come to our Make Him Smile programs, first of all, you come almost more than anybody else. You're sometimes there three, four times a month. Oh. You go to our hospitals way out in Kahuku, and you play at Kulana Malama, which is a hospital in Eva, where we have uh, some very, very uh, sick children, right. and you play for them. And I, I admire you so much for doing what you do for our program. And I, I just uh, wish you all the best in anything that you ever want to do, and I'll be there for you. Oh, thank you. You've blessed me, really, you have. Well, it's, it's my pleasure. Patrick, you have just joined our family, but you've already become very famous with the type of music that you play. Tell us a little bit about yourself. 
I grew up here. Uh, my parents moved here in the 50s, and so um, I was a little kid. I'll, one day woke up in Waikiki, and then we saw the ocean and said, <laughs> we like this, you know. So um, uh, then I was just a typical teenager here. I grew up in Navy housing over in Pearl Harbor area. Uh, when I was a kid. I heard the Beatles. I heard the music on the radio, and I said, I, wanted to, I love that. I saw it on TV. I said, I want to be part of that. Uh, my mom was a musician. She played piano in the house, and she would get us all in a tizzy. She'd play the old ragtime and stuff like that, and she'd get all the kids jumping around. And uh, my parents, my father would walk around uh, whistling Mozart or singing Johnny Cash. So it was kind of an odd house, but it was a lot of fun and a lot of love, and, and they just encouraged us. So uh, when I was 17, we had moved to the mainland uh, for the last year of high school. They all came back here. And I stayed, and I got the bug, and I said, I'm going to the big city. So I went to New York City and Los Angeles and got involved in the music business. And it was, uh, I was just of the mind that you can't keep me out. I, I want to do that. We were talking earlier about yeah. how would you get involved. I was like, I wanted to be in. And my parents said, you can do that. And my friends said, yeah, go for it. And so I just started knocking on doors and doing that. And I ended up in record companies, in bands. I played in a bunch of bands. And, um, but I really wanted to make records. And uh, I was working in New York for about five years, and then I said I was going to go back to California and uh, learn really to make records. And I got very lucky, and I pounded on the doors. I went to recording school and did all that. And then uh, at the same time, I was playing in bands and such. And so, uh, but I got into the studios and I hit the jackpot. I really got lucky. I got to work with the big league guys, and they accepted me in. And I worked hard and did did the duty, and uh, learned how to make records with a bunch of really wonderful people. So that just opened up a lot of doors. And, and the two of you, you're both here in Hawaii now, you're both performing in Hawaii. We all know that jazz is not the mainstay of Hawaiian music. It's uh, definitely on the outside of Hawaiian music, but yet you've, you're both very successful with it. You both you travel a lot to different venues, Japan, England, all, all over the world, which is very impressive. How did the two of you meet? Well, we were uh, both involved with a, a Hoku award-winning band called Hot Club of Hulaville. I was the lead singer, songwriter, producer, co-producer with uh, Sonny Silva. And uh, Patrick, I met Patrick through Hot Club of Hulaville because he was, you know, doing a lot of really great stuff for us. He would record our productions. He would, he, you know, he really helped out a lot on the I was a groupie. And, yeah, <laughs> I was a groupie. I, I loved the band. I wasn't trying to say that. No, no, so, no, but I was. I yeah. love those so guys. So did you accept him right away or did he have to pay his dues? <laughs> Well, I mean, I, I kind of didn't really pay a lot of attention oh, to he him. Wasn't she didn't know who I was. Yeah. There's, right. there's a song. We're, we're going to sing. There's a little bit in the song about this. Yeah, so. and, then, and, then, and then all of a sudden the light went on, and, and we started working together after the demise of that particular incarnation of Hot Club of Fulaville. And uh, uh, we started working together, and we, we developed chemistry. So wow. Well, it was, it was she, I don't know if you'll remember this one, but uh, she came up to me one day and said, hey, I'm mad at you. I'm like, what? And she said, you didn't invite me to sing on your record. And I said, I didn't really know you that well. But, and then she, she would invite me to sing with her when, when she was playing live and that. And I was kind of intimidated because I was impressed. I, I loved remember. Sonny Silva and the Hot Club of Hulaville. Sonny and I had been friends for a long time, and so I loved that band. I loved what they were doing. And they really helped bring this music back to the forefront. And so I, it was just a natural. And I was in love with the music and those guys. And I said, um, they were doing their concerts. I said, I'll record it. I don't know if they asked or I offered, but and uh, we recorded a whole bunch of shows oh, wow. of theirs and just had a blast. And then it just it just was just a wonderful um, um, mixture of so many That's great wonderful. people and great songs and musicians. Well, and I'm we, I'm getting in my earpiece. When are they going to start to play? Oh. So if you guys could get ready, get your instruments ready. You're playing guitar, Patrick, and you're playing ukulele. Or you're just oh, I'll play sing? ukulele. Sure. Later. Okay, very good. So why don't you start with you? Tell us about this first song. Well, this is a song that um, this is a song that you all know, and uh, I, it was the first song we did last a couple weeks ago at Abbey Road. Uh, I said to the guys, let's start with an easy one. I was a little bit nervous. We we brought on all these wonderful British jazz musicians, so we had charts and everything, and I knew how I wanted to do the song, but still, the first one up is like, let's let's start a little bit easy. So we started with this, and uh, this is part of the swing. We we do these albums called Swanky, and part of the Swanky thing is it's the old tunes, it's the classic songwriters, so this is a George and Ira Gershwin song. That you Let's all go know. for it. Summertime, and the living is easy. Fish are jumping, 
and the cotton is high. Your daddy's rich and your mama's good looking. So hush, little baby, please don't you cry. You're gonna rise up singing ah, And you'll spread your wings And take to the sky ah, But don't you worry, pity baby Don't you worry, there's no harm's gonna come you Oh, now with mama and daddy standing by Oh, 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 Absolute! What a rendition of summertime! I mean, I was gonna start singing with you, and then I realized <laughs> I would ruin the whole thing. So I said, "No way! No way should I get into that whole thing." But it would have really been beautiful. new and original. Oh yes, very original <laughs> and, and off for key. Yeah. <laughs> now, if you had a piano, that'd be a different story. But that was that well, was very. You've cool. said that twice now. We're gonna get the piano. We, I, I'm, we should challenge this guy and get the piano in here. Well, maybe one <laughs> yeah. day we will because yeah. I, I, yeah, I play. Yeah, that'd be I wonderful. Love. Now, tell us a little bit about the Abbey Road experience. Um, I produced a series of CDs called Swanky uh, over the last few years this that Janai has been part of. Oops. And when she said the chemistry happened, it did happen. Uh, we didn't know. Th that's the wonderful thing. I had no clue yeah, when right. we met each other how this would unfold. And we just, uh, I invited each other into the studio. She asked me to sing on some of her stuff, and yep. I asked her to sing on some of my things. And so, uh, I did this, uh, we went to Capitol Studios in Hollywood, where I used to be an engineer, and we got the Hollywood Cats and some of the Hawaii guys to come in, and we started doing, we, we did an album, Swanky One, at Capitol, and it just sort of grew, it became this organic thing. At the time, I thought, in the back of my head, I said, well, okay, well, what's next? I said, well, let's go to Abbey Road. It was just, in my head, it just seemed like a good idea. It's like, okay, why not? Uh, I, I was, uh, we talked earlier, I, I've, when my parents said, you know, go for it, try it, I was like, oh, yeah, go for it. So it didn't seem that far-fetched to me. Uh, a few years later, we, uh, we did another Swanky album, and then um, about, I don't know, about a year ago, six months ago, I started really putting it together, and I started to pull the trigger to uh, say, all right, let's go to Abbey Road. So I called them up, I called the studio, and I said, hey, can I book it? And they said, yep. I said, what does it take? And they said, money. Yeah. <laughs> all, and I sang, all you need is money. Yeah. So, you know, it takes money and a plan. So, so love didn't work. All you needed, love, that did not <laughs> work. Okay, no, we, got we, it. we sang a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, uh, I knew some British musicians that I had become friends with on Facebook and through meeting some of them while I was there previously. And so I knew that I could, the, the people who I wanted to play with were wonderful players who liked this kind of music. So I was like, all right, if I can get these guys. And when I sent them the note and I said, oh, okay, you, you know, could, are you interested? They said, yeah. I was like, <laughs> I called her and I was like, I'm sending her emails and videos of these guys. Let's go, said, let's go. Yeah, let's can go. you believe these guys yeah. are going to play? And, uh, and she said, yeah, okay, I'm in. So, uh, oh and then God. that's just, and then things started on roll. You know, you start writing checks and sending credit cards and making and phone then calls. It went. And then writing charts and getting How stuff. How many like guys from Hawaii have been to Abbey Road? I mean, I'm so <laughs> amazed, and I, I I feel so grateful just that I'm in the same room with you guys because I've you, known you Abbey Road us. for you all you the years. Touch me. <laughs> 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 all right, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. We were we were in the Beatles room, and we re went to the Beatles room when I was booking it. Um, there was an option for Studio 3, uh, which is a smaller room, which is a wonderful room. And I, I was thinking about it because I knew it was smaller and I wanted it compact. But then she said, oh, that got booked and Studio 2 is open. And I knew Studio 2 was the room, the holy grail. So I was like, we have to do it. And it cost more. Did. I was like, just do it. And we did it. And of course, it was, it was pretty magic. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Well, we've got to take a short commercial break. And then I'd like you to start with a song right off the bat when okay. we get back from commercial. And then we're going to show some photographs and some pictures. Woo -woo. Okay. All right. I'm Seymour Kazimersky on Seymour's World of Think Tech Kauai. We'll be back in a minute with Patrick and Janai.
Hi, I'm Donna Blanchard. I host the show Center Stage on Think Tech Wednesdays at 2 p.m. And this is Crystal Quack. That's Quark. right. I'm Crystal, and I host Quack Talk on Tuesday mornings. <laughs> I like watching Donna's show. You do. <laughs> I like watching your show. I like watching your show because you talk about you're not afraid to really dive into issues that are important, and and sometimes they're a little shocking, and you always bring us information that is sometimes the underbelly that we Ooh, need to know and we need to you. see. It's important. Well said. Well, I like yours because you can find any topic and any type of character, but you will find that source which brought them to the product of that creative process. And I thought that's like the most important thing is the process. Awesome. Right? I think, yeah, I do. I think it's all about the process. And I think we'll find world peace when we know each other's stories. So thank you very much for bringing that to us. Join thank us you. on Think Tech. <laughs> Think Tech Hawaii, anytime. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to Seymour's World on Think Tech Hawaii. Uh, Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump are not here today. <laughs> But we have something a lot better than hearing those two guys complain about each other <laughs> and talk about anything but what, what is important in the world. What we want to do today is to make you have some fun, relax, and enjoy some wonderful music. And our guests today, Patrick and Janai, part of our Make Him Smile program, uh, they, ha they entertained us in, the first, in our first uh, segment, but now we're going to ask them to start off the second segment. What song are we doing? It's called My Bluebirds Singing the Blues. Go for it. Oh, June is here, and skies are clear and bright. Not for me, for I don't see the light. For me, the music of the birds and the trees doesn't mean anything. I'm so low that I... I heard a bluebird singing one day. He brought a message of happy news. He filled the air above with a song of love. But now my bluebird sang in the blues. A pair of blue eyes wandered my way. But how was I to know I'd love and lose? Because my blue A certain someone changed her mind, and now my bluebird's singing the tune. Oh, my blue skies seem to turn gray, and I pack away my dancing shoes because my big romance was a song and dance, and now my bluebird. Wow, that was wonderful. You know, we could spend the rest of the show just playing, but it, it is terrific. Now, let's, let's just find out where you are playing right now. Janai, where are you playing? Well, this Saturday, I'm very blessed to be doing the Governor's Ball. Uh, it's a fundraiser wow. for the March of Dimes, and uh, we're going to be doing that with the Mike Lewis Orchestra featuring the Fresh Preps. So. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, you know, it's a black tie affair that uh, a lot of people are going to be attending, mostly for the you know purpose of raising money for mm -hmm. the for the incredible institution March of Dimes. Mm -hmm. And I'm really really uh, excited about being there on Saturday. And Patrick, you're going back and forth through to California. Well, I'm going back next week, and um, I actually have some. I do production work for other people as well, so mm -hmm. um, it pays for my sins, basically. Uh -huh. so, and while I'm there, though, uh, I'm going to be uh, performing at a couple of hospitals. Uh, oh, wonderful! Like to make them smile. Program. Well, I like to make yeah. them smile, and I have wonderful friends over there, and they invite me all the time, and I go, and I just bring other musicians in, and we we go and do it. And I want to thank you for uh, crediting me for being part of Make Them Smile. I'm a newcomer to this, and I, I love being part of it, and uh, I. 
I just, I, I think what you're doing is great, and uh, I, I, I'll get more involved. So. That's wonderful. We love having you. Anytime that you're here, uh, Janai is probably one of our, our best singers. Oh, I know. Every time I go, you know, oh, no, I'm going to the Kahuka Hospital. I'm going here, I'm going there, I'm going to the Shriners. You know, She's, no, I, 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 I mean, you guys, whatever you do is wonderful. Yeah. Now, before we get into another song, because everybody seems to want to hear more, could we bring up some of the pictures from their Abbey Road? Here we go. Oh, you, you tell me. Oh, these are great. That's Colin Good on the right, amazing pianist, and Martin Wheatley on the left. We're talking to him about the, the song Smitten, I do believe. Is that, is that the Smitten moment? Yes. Yeah. We're talking to him about a song that we're going to be performing, and there it is, Studio Two. Let's see the next one. Oh, there's... <laughs> That's uh, all... Of, we had to go outside, of course, and stand yeah. in a... You know, it's very unassuming right there because it's, it's a house on a street in a neighborhood. It's like a nice posh neighborhood, as they say. And so we all went out there and just Look took some shots too, yeah. out there. And uh, those were some of the... One of the gals in the other picture was a photographer for us. And she was wonderful. Uh, uh, Georgiana. On the bottom. On the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. She was wonderful. And sh she came in and just shot photos and video. And another gal, a friend, an old friend, came in from London and she shot a bunch. And that's Wayne McIntyre next to me on the left. The engineer, the engineer. of the Abbey Road We became Project. very good friends with him, and we're going back. We're going to perform with him. And oh, wow. Yeah, Fabulous. so uh, he's a great musician as well as a great engineer. So <laughs> we, we met this family, and Martin on the left was the man who put the band together, and I leaned on him a lot. And he was just a, he was a proper English gent. How, so how many people did you have there actually musicians playing, guitar players, etc.? Well, you had guitar, bass, piano. Oh, here we there go. They are there right we go. There. There's the whole. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think we had more engineers than musicians. But Did it's you? Okay. We had four <laughs> engineers. Yeah. yeah, we had we had four engineers. We had four uh, uh, solid uh, rhythm section musicians: guitar, bass, drums, and piano. Then we had a few singers uh, come in. We had a few uh, a young friend from Hawaii. Yeah. We've got Stephanie Denton in the middle there. She was shooting photos all day, and she wow. was just a champ. And uh, her and Georgiana just, they made us look good. And then the, um, um, that's Kobe. Have, yeah, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, we have Mez Colin, uh, Colif yeah. in the next to Stephanie and the, uh, Paul, Paul Moylan, oh, who was an amazing player. bass player. He's wearing the glasses and the hat. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And so, yeah, and then we had Toby and Jeff, the engineers, and they were terrific. And, and of course, um, you know, Wayne McIntyre's, Pushing all the sliders and yeah. you know pushing the buttons and stuff. Oh, it look at great. that studio! Wow, that's, that's a big the, studio. Well, yeah. it's, oh, it's huge, and that's only half of it. Uh, wow. the, the wall. You see the wall up at the end yep. there. Um, this is how the Beatles would set it up too. From you, if, you see, if you look at the old pictures, you'll see that they would have little, you know, their little baffled off sections. So the piano is over there. Uh, the pianos on the, up in the upper corner, up in the right corner, are, yep. are the old ones. The, the Mrs. Henderson's piano we used. It was the Obladi Blada piano. Yes, oh, when yes. I heard it played, I was like, oh, all yeah. of a sudden, I was flash. Back to, that, to that hearing that music, record for right. the first oh time. And then we use it on, on, a, on a great jazz song. Um, um, oh, here um, you go. Oh, That's the this, two of you together. Yeah. This is a great, I thought this was a cute shot, huh? Yeah. 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 Stephanie, this is our booth. And, you know, uh, we had cameras, we had the screens up there, so she could see the screen. I would have to turn and look. And I could see out to the piano, she could see out to the bass and drums and such. Wow. Uh oh, you look like you have that hat on perfectly. <laughs> well, I was, I, w I wanted to look. We, I he was always doing the, brings the character. The, I, that was was the doing the, I was doing wrote, the ragtime yeah. song, and uh, the hat, the, the, the headphones kept falling. That's why I had to put the, yes. hold it. But yeah. I wanted to do the ragtime song because I knew they were taking pictures and stuff. And, wow. we were, and so I wanted to be a little swanky with it. What an exciting so. moment for you guys. Get ready for another song. Uh -oh. Okay. All right, because uh, I, I keep hearing from our audience uh, more music. So oh, okay. Let's do at least one more, and hopefully we'll have time for two if we can. Yeah, sounds great. Shall we? Okay, we're going to do that original song. Oh, that, this, uh, oh tell us about it. Yeah. Oh, this is her great song. Uh, well, this is a song that I wrote um, um, called Smitten With You. And, and it's just, you know, it's, it's written after the, the style of songs that we're fond of, of recording and producing. And you were thinking so. of me as you wrote it. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, my. I yes. mean, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, not you. Sorry about that. No, <laughs> sorry. sorry about that. No, you also wrote the Make Him Smile theme. Song, yeah, I just which I, is fabulous. Every time we play that at, at anywhere, they say, "Wow, who wrote that song?" Because <laughs> oh, that's you. sweet. Go ahead. Go that's for really it. sweet. Okay, so uh, here we go. I fell 
I'm just telling you, it's a beautiful, beautiful song. Oh, it's I love cute. It. Isn't it great, that old style? Yeah. And yeah. Martin, uh, the guitar player, he also played wonderful ukulele, so he grabbed her ukulele. Well, I insisted that he play my, my beautiful koa kili'i, yeah. and that's why I was so nervous playing it, because I hear Martin's playing in my head, and I'm like, I can't play that, but, you know, it's okay. Uh, I mean, I wrote it on this ukulele, and so, you know, Lord knows I should be you know, comfortable. You know, let's talk about jazz and music, and, I mean, we're we're... Our generation uh, loves jazz, but is, is it gone down or is it, uh, can you bring it back up again to where people just love to sit and listen to wonderful, nice, slow, beautiful, melodic music versus the bang, 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 bang of what's out there today? I have an answer. Yes. Um, it has not gone. It's just uh, changed into all these different genres of jazz. You'd be amazed to know that there's smooth jazz and there's straight ahead jazz and there's instrumental jazz and there's, you know, there's so all these different. So it's education. You, the, you really have to educate. You people. really do, but but you know, a lot of the a lot of the downfall of many musical styles here in America, which is by the way, jazz is the only indigenous musical style mm -hmm. to America. Um, the big reason for its demise is corporate radio. Corporate radio just killed it. So and of course, uh, we have the, not the demise, but uh, really a downfall of the CD music as well, too. Well, that's which that's hurts, a which hurts musicians. That's a obviously. completely different subject. But something maybe we can't cover today. But I no. do want you guys. I I know you can't believe it, but it's a, the uh, the end of our show. So you guys oh. can play one more song if you don't mind. Right, right. We and have you'll four more. I know, I know, I know, I no. know. And maybe <laughs> if the audience asks, I promise I'll bring you back, and they probably will ask. So if you could just uh, take us out with a song right. that well, you go. I just want to say goodbye to everybody. And uh, to all of our guests on Seymour's World at Think Tech Hawaii, this has been a wonderful interlude. 30 minutes of music, something to make you smile, something to make you happy, something to forget about everything that you're reading in the newspapers and <laughs> watching television. And just remember that life is full of joy, and music is really what brings it to you. So please go ahead. Here we go. Oh, this is a Dean Martin song from the 50s. My generation. <laughs> there you go. Take sweet, sweet. one memories fresh and, and tender us. kiss. You can't be memories you gave me. Add sweet, one memories stolen night of bliss. bliss. You can't be memories you gave me. One girl, over, one boy, over, some grief, day when some joy, then memories are made, made of this. You can't be don't sweet, sweet. forget a small moonbeam. You can't be memories of gave me. Fold sweet, sweet. it lightly with a dream.